we're here today with Lieutenant Governor Mary Taylor. Lieutenant Governor, thanks for your time today. Thanks for joining us on OSCPA Spotlight. Thank you. Um, the Ohio Business Gateway, let's start there. Uh, that's an important website for many of our members that serve business clients, and you've been chair of the Ohio Business Gateway for a little over a year. Um, how does it fit in in the, the grand scheme of things for you and the things that you're trying to accomplish as Lieutenant Governor? It really directly fits in um, nicely with our Common Sense Initiative and um, looking just generally at regu regulatory reform. But it's also about how do we make um, those interactions with government easier and more effective and, and more seamless. And the Business Gateway, for me personally, because I'm a CPA, I obviously understand um, in a different way how important the Business Gateway is when it comes to paying taxes and communicating with state government. So my goal really has been with the uh, Business Gateway to modernize the platform, to make it easier to use, uh, maybe use language that's more just plain English so that everybody using it understands. CPAs who use it obviously as, as service providers to their clients understand the term, the uh, technical uh, terminology and so it's easy for them to know and understand the Business Gateway when they're filing certain forms. But if you think about the users of the Business Gateway, of course it's the CPAs and the service providers, but it's also entrepreneurs, it's also business owners, it's also CFOs, um, accounting managers at the companies. And so we really have to make the Business Gateway a portal that's user friendly for every one of our audiences. Plus it's also a way for agencies, state, state government agencies, to interact with business and to communicate with them as well. And talk, talk about a little bit about what you've learned this past year. Did you have any aha moments with this? Yes, actually. Um, one of my aha moments was we did a survey because I had my own perception about what I thought modernizing the business gateway looked like, but I felt it was important to actually ask the user. So we surveyed um, users and we got a great response and CPAs obviously were important to that, and we appreciate their responding. Um, but one of the things I thought would be really important was to be able to use an iPad or an iPhone to file taxes or to communicate with state government. But in fact, that ended up not being even in the top 10 of things that users were looking for. So it, it's, that to me was a good lesson, um, which was I may have my own ideas and observations about things, um, improvements I think are necessary, but when you actually go out and ask the user or those that, um, that communicate with us what it is they're looking for, sometimes it's a little bit different than you think. So what were their priorities? What were they looking for? What were you able to implement? One of them, simply, it's, it was a simple problem, not as easy to solve as one might think, um, resetting passwords. One of the biggest frustrations was um, having to reset a password and how complicated it was to do that and we wanted it to be seamless. Um, we know that technology is used in various capacities today. People pay bills, they shop, they bank, they do all kinds of things online and it's safe and secure. And so we wanted to be able to, in a safe and secure environment, make it easy for people to change passwords. And so that's one of the things that we have improved. Um, that was one of the first things that we improved. And also doing a better job of communicating, especially with CPAs and service providers, one of the things we heard was we want to be able to log on one time and um, work with all of our clients, whether it's filing sales tax returns, for example, and um, how do we do that? And we, what we learned was it was just a communication issue and that once we explained in detail how to do that, um, it made it, yeah, obviously it was easier for CPAs to, to do the work that they do. We recently published an article for members on the service provider functionality. Tell us a little bit about that. What does that seek to accomplish and how's it gone so far? Well, again, service providers are some of our most important users and we wanted to make, um, recognizing that importance of course, we wanted to make their, uh, their interaction with the business gateway I as simple as possible. And so again, communicating and explaining in a, in a pretty specific way um, how, to, how, how you can use and interact with the business gateway in a way that uh, helps you serve your clients. So we, we've talked a little bit about the past. Let's look forward now. What, what's next for the Ohio Business Gateway? So we're, go we're going to replatform. And essentially what that means to me as a non-technical person is 
um, we want to make the interaction between uh, the business community and, of course, the service provider community and state government as seamless as possible. So we want it to, to, be, um, to be able to go on to one site, the business gateway, and log in and be able to accomplish as many of the things as possible um, that, that involve an interaction with a state government agency. And so really looking at, again, filing taxes, billions of dollars every single year um, are paid through the business gateway, taxes paid through the business gateway, and of course it's, a, it's an important function of state government, but we also want to make it um, not only an easy way to, to file taxes, we want to make it an easy way to learn and understand how you interact um, with state government. So replatforming is truly just saying you have one place you can log into called the Ohio Business Gateway and then you should be able to seamlessly move around um, and, and communicate with different state agencies in a way that accomplishes everything that you need to accomplish. We set a strategic, um, of, I guess, vision or mission that we really want to be a user-friendly site that is safe and secure and easy to use. And that's really our goal. So going forward, that's kind of, that is what we are focused on as we seek to, I use the word transform. Um, it, it's, I think it's the right word, um, but it's, I guess it's also just replatforming the way that uh, users interact with state government. Mm -hmm.